My name is Jer Bellario, and I'm a Little Kids Rock teacher here in Los Angeles. Today, I'm going to show you how to learn and play chords quickly on the keyboard. It's as easy as counting four and three. This is great if you're a beginner or if you hang out with a lot of guitarists. When I was in middle school, I tried to play keyboard with a church band, but all they had was guitar chord charts. The director showed me how to read these chords on the piano, and today I want to show you how to do it too. A chord is two or more notes played together at the same time, like this. This is a note. This is a chord. You can hear that a chord sounds much bigger because there's more notes in it. Let's get started. First of all, we need to learn the letter names of all the keys. The keyboard has a lot of white keys and black keys. But if you look carefully, there's a pattern. Do you see it? There's groups of two black keys and groups of three black keys. The two black keys remind me of chopsticks and chopsticks start with the letter C. This reminds me that the white key next to the chopsticks is a C. The three black keys remind me of a fork. Fork starts with the letter F. This reminds me that the white key next to the fork is an F. C, F. Now we can use our alphabet skills to figure out the rest of the letter names. Before the C is A and B, C, D, E, you know F, and G. Our tones begin at A and end at G. We'll use our thumb to play three of the notes. C, F, and A. If you can, use your left thumb to play the note one octave down. That means we'll play the middle C with our right thumb and the low C with our left thumb. Now that you know the names of the keys, let's make some chords. Remember, a chord is two or more notes. On our keyboard, we have something called half steps. Every key is one half step away from the other key. Usually the half steps alternate from black to white to black to white, but they don't from the B to the C and from the E to the F. The first chord we'll play is a C major chord. On guitar charts, a major chord will be written with its letter name. For the major chords, there's two numbers we need to remember, four and three. To make the C major chord, we'll start on the C. From there, we'll count four half steps to the next note of the chord. One, two, three, four. That's an E. And from there, we'll count three half steps. One, two, three. That's a G. I'll play the C with my thumb, the E with my middle finger, and the G with my pinky, like this. Awesome. Now let's try the F chord. For the F major chord, we're going to start on the F. For the next note, let's count four half steps. One, two, three, four. That's an A. For the next note, let's count three half steps again. One, two, three. We'll play the F with our thumb, the A with our middle finger, and the C with our pinky. That's our F major chord. Our last chord is the A minor chord. Now for this chord, I want you to remember the opposite. We're going to remember three, then four. We'll start on the A, 
but this time we're going to count three half steps. One, two, three. That's the C. Now we're going to count four half steps. One, two, three, four. That's an E. And again, I'll play the letter name with my thumb, the second note with my middle finger, and the third note with my pinky. Major chords sound happy. Minor chords sound sad. Aww. One quick tip, if I'm playing a C major chord, all I need to do to make it a C minor chord is to move my middle finger one half step down like this. C major. C minor. Aww. Now that we know those three chords, let's put them into a chord progression. We'll play C major. F major. A minor. And F major again. If you notice, I'm using the same three fingers for those chords. All I have to do is slide them over. C major. F major. A minor. Let's try those chords with a long rhythm, like this. C, F, A minor, back to F. Try it again. C, F, A minor, F. Nice job. Now that you have that long rhythm, Let's try them with four short rhythms, like this. Let's try that chord progression with a drum beat. We'll try the long rhythms, and then we'll try the four short rhythms. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, ready, go. Go to F major. A minor. Back to F major. Now back to C major. Cool, great job. Now that you figured out those chords, let's figure out some other chords. Did you notice that all of our chords are on white keys? Other chords will have black keys, like the E major chord. We'll start on E. And remember, we're gonna count four half steps. One, two, three, four. Now we have a black key for our second note. This is A flat. Now we count three half steps. One, two, three. That's a B. Now that you know how to count half steps, try to figure out the major and minor chords in your favorite songs. It's as easy as counting four and three. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.